Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Maniac by Swag Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in, break this bag down. Maniac is a carpet bag. It has that herringbone carpet, the more popular of the herringbone carpets out there. Same herringbone slow side you find on the BG Wizard, Buffalo Fall X and Fury, the B3 Fatal and Prime, the X Level Counterpunch, Southwest Capo, Ninja Street, Alpha Bag, Shadow X. I go on and on. There's a ton of bags out there that use this hairy and bone carpet and for good reason it's a very versatile material it players love it it's, it's one of my favorite materials if if i were going to throw carpet i would probably go to hairy and bone first over that that pro advantage viking style carpet bags i just love the versatility with as you get with this bag the control you get and yet it's still fairly hole friendly for being a very controllable bag I, I call it a five speed but every time i review this material i always talk about how you can manipulate this bag especially this material in particular to really get the speeds where you want Brand new, it's going to play five and a half, six feet. If you keep it clean, you wash this bag, you buy a fabric shaver, you shave the fuzzies off, keep this material really smooth, it'll stay in that five and a half, six speed range for, for the most part. If you throw outdoors or you throw on rough surfaces, concrete, asphalt, you get it dirty, you don't clean it, you get it full of sweat, it just gets really nasty and grimy and sticky, it'll play down to like a really slow four speed. You have a ton of control with it. Most people, in normal conditions, you're throwing indoors on pitch pads, clean floors, whatever. It's probably going to settle about that five speed, and that's why I call it a five speed. So five on the slow side, fast side. This is a unique material. The only other bag that I know of so far that has something similar or maybe the same material is the Stage 1 by Rocket Bags I recently reviewed. It, it, the, the material doesn't quite look the same, but it has a similar feel. So I don't know if it's the exact same material as that Stage 1. Very close to it. If you haven't thrown that bag, the best way I can describe this to you is it's it, if you if you throw in the butter by Ultra, you know how that fast side material is, that kind of really, really smooth, slick material. This has a similar feel to that, but it has more texture. If you imagine that material with a little more texture to it, that's what you get on this Maniac. So it, it plays fast, but it, it's more controllable. It's like an eight and a half, nine speed on this fast side here. Plenty fast enough for pushing through blocks, collecting bags, multiple bags you can collect, you know, pushing through big piles and congestion on the board. You have enough speed there. Yeah, it's controllable enough that if you need to put a bag in the hole, sneak a bag in, you can flip it over a fast side, sneak a bag in, and not worry about the bag just flying off the back. So fast side, eight and a half to nine speed, slow side, about a five speed. Template wise, it's a medium template bag. It's kind of that standard template. I think swag, I think all swag bags are pretty much the same template for the most part. So medium template bag, medium amount of fill, medium amount of flop on this maniac. It's kind of right, it's like right down the middle. It's, it's that just right bag as far as all the, the metrics go. You've got flop here. It is not overly floppy at all. So if you like to throw a fuller bag, you can still throw this and, and have no issues with it. You like to throw a floppier bag, there's enough flop here, you can you can still throw it, have no problems with it. The the hand feel, it has a wonderful hand feel. I can grab it, lock it down, I have complete control of the bag. I love the way the bag feels in the hand it has a the fill here is a mostly flat fill it's, it's got a mixture of flat discs and that thicker flat fill i don't know if it has any round fill in here if it does it's not a lot in this bag uh, it's it's really more flat forward fill in this bag and, and honestly for this herringbone carpet that's actually a, a positive because the biggest knock on this herringbone carpet is it has a kick to it right and then you put a mixed fill in here you put brown fill in here and, and, and the bag gets, ends up getting more balanced and it's going to be a more punishing kick typically. But by putting a flat fill in here, you can you can get away with a little bit fuller bag with that flat fill because that flat fill gives the bag more forgiveness on the landing. So if you don't throw the flattest of bags, but you've been wanting to throw in herringbone, but you, like I said, every time you pick one up, you just can't control it because of the cut. I think the Maniac would be the bag you're looking for because it ha it just it's just so forgiving on the landing. You know, you put that tilt on the bag, it's still going to land, flatten out, and run fairly straight up the board. You'll get a little bit of a kick to a little bit of movement to it if you're not perfectly flat. But very you can just adjust your landing zone and you can still play the bag no problem whatsoever so honestly for herringbone this is one of the more forgiving bags on the landing the, the other knock i would say on herringbone is typically in, in in my in my experience herringbone is not that hole friendly in the screen in the scheme of all materials out there for carpet materials it's very hole friendly it's, it's more hole friendly than that than the pro advantage of that viking carpet for especially for the control you get the control you get in this bag is super hole friendly for is first controlling this bag is but in the grand scheme of all bags not that hole friendly and typically flat fill to, to me i i don't always say flat fill is not the best that are around the hole but honestly i never really had an issue with this bag the way it played around the hole you've got enough flop here it's forgiving around the hole so if, if you're missing your landing zone at all left or right as long as you get a corner to go up there and grab that hole it'll spin and pull the bag back if a bag was hanging, they're not that hard to collect. They're full enough that I had no problem. If a bag was hanging on the side or the other, you know, I could just come down the middle and usually the next bag going in would just hit it and bring it back in. So I really didn't experience any hole friendliness issues whatsoever with this bag. 
it's definitely one of the more whole friendly herringbone bags that I think I've thrown out here. I was really, that was kind of my one concern when I, when I felt the fill in this bag and I saw the materials, like I was a little concerned about that, but it never really became an issue for me whatsoever. So I'm, I, to me, this is a very whole friendly bag, especially for the control you get out of it. These Maniacs are ACL stamped for 2024. So if you play an ACL events, you can throw them. Let's go ahead and dive in and talk about playability. It's a very versatile bag, as I mentioned. And really the beauty of this herringbone is, is everything that you can do with it. Like it, it, it does everything really well. There's not a lot of weaknesses to it. So if you want to get up there and just run bags hole for hole, you can do it. Throw your four bags in, outscore your opponent. You can definitely do that with this Maniac with no problem whatsoever, especially on faster boards. Faster boards, I love pulling this herringbone out and going hole for hole. It's a wonderful material as the boards get faster because you still have that control and, and you can play a little more aggressive with it. It's also a bag, a material that you can you can play a dirty style game with it, especially as I mentioned, if you get this dirty and really sticky and slow this, this, this herringbone down, you can throw blockers where you want. You have complete control, putting your level one, level two, level three blockers anywhere you want on the board you can put a blocker up there and and really cause a lot of chaos a lot of havoc for your opponent and because the bags are not super floppy very collectible uh, you know you throw a, a level three block you know it's halfway down the board i had no problem going slick side coming through pushing that bag up it, it like i said plenty of speed to push that through if you've got multiple blockers up there you could come through and push even if you got side by side bags i never really had an issue with these bags bunching or clogging up in the hole there's a, there's you know they're they're not floppy but they have enough flop they fold up pretty well and went in so if i was trying to push your multiple bags not an issue whatsoever with that if i was trying to collect bags on the board because they don't have a lot of flop it's, it's just it's just clipping a corner you clip a corner take them in they're not really going to smash up and according up like super floppy bags do which means that it, you can get aggressive putting that blocker more on your opponent's side and then you know get around it you can cut around it whatever sneak around step out get around it and then your last bag flip it over come to the middle clip it take it in if you get too aggressive be a little further over than you want to you've got the ability to throw a cut shot grab it pull the bag back these bags are, are great for shot shaping cuts rolls flops if you're trying to learn to throw rolls and flops cuts maybe not the best bag for that in fact swag bags has a bag called the emerald xr i reviewed if you're trying to learn that shot shaping cuts rolls flops go get a set of emerald, emerald xr but if you're an average to above average in those skills you can definitely do it with these bags you've got all kinds of options to get your bag around your opponent's bag put your bags in the hole leave your opponent's bags there so it really makes it a fun bag for if I'm playing an opponent who plays a dirty style game, I can I have ways to get around their bag. If I have an opponent who doesn't like a dirty style game, I have the ability to throw blockers with this bag. So no matter what the conditions are and what the situation is, you, you you can pretty much play whatever style game you want with this Maniac. And that leads me into availability. Swagbags has a website, swagbagscornhole.com. Put a link down in the description for you guys to click on. As always, these Maniacs have not been released as of me recording this review, but I'm trying to coordinate this with the release of the bag. So if this video is up and you're watching it, it means the bags are are going to be released soon if not if you're watching it after it's been up for a few days they may have already been released so you can go to swagbagscornhole.com and check and see if the bags are available uh, the price wise i'm gonna the price for swag bags is usually about in that 90 95 dollar price point i'm gonna assume these mini are right about that same price point $13 shipping from swag bags, and I believe that's a flat rate shipping. So I'm pretty sure if it's $13, no matter how many sets of bags you're ordering. So if you're if you're gonna pick a set of Maniacs up and you've been eyeing some of the other bags, whether it's the Emerald XR or the Ruby or the Chaos and the other bags, it's a great time to put them all in a bundle and get them same time, save some shipping costs. If you if you got a, a a friend who's looking to buy a set as well, put them all in one order, split the shipping cost for yourself if you want to do that. But you know, even with even with a $13 shipping cost, you're looking at about a hundred and $103 to $108, depending on where the, where the price point settles for an ACL stand bag, which is kind of right down the middle. It's, it's where a lot of these bags are selling at. So it's not, it's not definitely not the most expensive bag out there. I think it's well worth it. They're great bags. I, I, I'm a huge fan of swag bags, what they're doing. I throw a lot of their bags. I still keep a lot of their bags and, and throw them on a regular basis. These Maniacs are very fun. And like I said, with this unique fast side, it's something that's different. So if you like throwing different materials, I think you, you want to give these Maniacs a try. If you've thrown them, Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think, your thoughts, your opinions. Always love hearing guys' opinions on these bags. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.